because I wanted to really be happy. I don't know, I just the feeling of what had happened kind of got in the way and didn't let me enjoy it as much. Hey guys, I'm Magnus. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time and I know I had said I was gonna continue uploading. There was a couple things that um, have happened that I just couldn't. First, um, I got really busy with work. My schedule was just all over the place and I couldn't make time. I honestly could not make time to have a schedule to upload videos. Um, it just, it was pretty much impossible during that time. And then December came and I tried, I actually sort of recorded a couple of vlogs, but I never uploaded them because I never finished any of those vlogs. I was trying to do vlogmas and it just didn't work out because, well, something has been going on. I just couldn't upload because of how I was feeling. This time around, I'm gonna try to be uploading at least once a week. I'm not gonna promise you guys any schedule. I'm just not gonna tell you guys that I'm gonna have a schedule of like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or I'm not gonna tell you guys that. I'm just gonna tell you that on a Tuesday or Thursday, I will be uploading at least one video a week. If there's multiple videos, um, it'll most likely be during the week, not the weekend. There might be some vlogs here and there, I'm not sure. It just really depends on what I do that day because I've tried vlogging in the past, but I don't really do much. And I feel like the videos are a little boring for you guys, so I just don't upload them. If you guys want to see them, I'll just let me know and I'll try to upload them. And I don't want to let you guys down for those of you that, um, that I have actually sticked around for this whole entire time. This has just been something I've wanted for so long and I love doing, but I just, like I said, things get in the way, but I just have to work on making the time to do this and actually sticking to it because I don't know, I'm someone who I guess lets other things get in the way and I can't really, I guess I don't really know how to control the other things so that I can continue doing this. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but hopefully you guys understand. Um, this is the beginning of 2020 and I know that the beginning of every year is an ex isn't an excuse to set a goal for yourself. You can do that whatever day of the year it is. It doesn't matter if it's mid-July, you just have to do it. And one of those goals of mine for this year is to actually stick to this. And hopefully by the end of this year, I'm still doing this. I just hope nothing else gets in the way of me being able to upload these videos. Okay, so by the title of this video, you guys already know what is going on. And yes, I am pregnant. Here is the positive pregnancy test. So I'm going to give you guys, hold on. I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory or a little story time, I guess, of how I found out that I was pregnant. So you guys know I already have a son. He's about to turn three years old and it's been three years. I haven't been trying for three years. I, I actually tried for a baby in the beginning of the year and I got pregnant, but sadly, unfortunately, I miscarried that baby. <laughs> God, it's always difficult, but I'm gonna make a video on that. Um, the so after that, um, I had a rough time um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to try again because it was scary. It was a scary situation. But I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to, I'll make a video of my miscarriage and I'll tell you guys everything there. But with this pregnancy, we weren't really trying. Well, I guess we were trying, but not like really trying, if you know what I mean. Like if it happened, it would happen. We wanted a baby, but we weren't like forcefully trying, I guess you can say. In October, was it like two days before Halloween or a day before Halloween? I don't remember. But um, I was feeling a little, not those two days, but like the week prior. I was feeling like I was gonna get my period and I was just feeling cramps like all day I was like oh, I'm just gonna get my period just exactly the same of what happened to me when I was pregnant with Sebastian and the pregnancy I had prior to this one so I get a week okay so the day I'm supposed to start my period or two days before I'm supposed to start my period I start feeling cramps and I felt like that for an entire week the day where my period was supposed to come never came the cramps continued for a week and then i was like you know what 
I think I'm pregnant. So I took a pregnancy test and sure enough, it turned positive. I was, oh my God, you guys. So I was trying to record a reaction to a, me looking at the pregnancy test. I tried really hard to wait so that I could get the camera and look at it with the camera, but I just couldn't. And so as soon as I got up from the toilet, I just flipped it around because I just wanted to know. And sure enough, I saw the two lines and well, that indicated that I was pregnant. So I took the pregnancy test. I tried to record, but I just couldn't. Like I told you guys, and I wanted to tell Freddie like in a very special way. And I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to tell you guys how I was trying to surprise him because it didn't work out this time. But hopefully um, if we get pregnant again, I'm going to try. Sorry about this. It's distracting me on the viewfinder. Anyways, hopefully, hopefully if I get pregnant again, I'm going to try to do that surprise for him. Because it was, it was really creative, I think. In my opinion, that was really creative. What I was thinking to do. But I couldn't do that because he came home from work and he was trying to... Well, I guess physical activity isn't really bad for you at the beginning. But since I had already miscarried, I didn't want to risk it. He was trying to take me out for a run and I couldn't. And I was like, no, I'm not going to go. He was surprised. And was asking why, why can't you, why can't you? So so my plan didn't work out as I hoped it would. So I was like, get out of the room, get out of the room. And I called my son over, I got him out of the room. He was like, why won't you let me in, let me in, what's going on? So I locked the door and I took out the pregnancy test because I couldn't, oh my goodness, I'm so disappointed I didn't work out as I wanted it to. But I give my son the, the pregnancy test. I open the door. He comes in and I tell my son to give him the pregnancy test. I didn't say give him the pregnancy test because he would know. But like, give it to your dad. And so he gives it to his dad. And then, well, he found out I was pregnant. And I'm going to insert a clip here. Oh, yeah. What is he doing? Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish it was more special, but I mean, it was special, but not as surprising, I guess, as I wanted it to be. When I saw the two lines, it felt, I mean, I know I was sort of trying to get pregnant, but it was still something, it was something really emotional because of the miscarriage. Um, I still think about it, but I'm not going to talk about it here. <sighs> I was happy, but at the same time, I was scared because of the miscarriage. I honestly didn't know how to feel at that time because I wanted to really be happy. I was happy, but I wanted, I don't know, I just the feeling of what had happened kind of got in the way and didn't let me enjoy it as much. Um, I wish I didn't feel that way. I don't feel like that. Well, at least not as much. I do fear that. Um, I think every pregnant woman fears that because it's something scary but since I had already like just gone through that it was more like I don't know it was just more um, I don't even know what to say it was just it was a little more scary I guess you can say alright guys so now you guys know now I can talk freely about this on on my YouTube channel because I didn't want to tell you guys too soon which is why I didn't do Vlogmas. I was trying to do Vlogmas, but it was too soon. And my symptoms were really, really, really bad at that time. I was so nauseous. Hope, thankfully, my nausea is kind of going away now. But I can talk to you guys about it. And I didn't want to tell you guys back then. Hopefully, you guys understand. Our baby is due in July. We don't know the sex of the baby yet. I'll do a gender reveal um, video for you guys. Um... I'm not really sure what we'll do. I'm not sure if we're going to have a gender reveal party or if it's just going to be something private or maybe a gender reveal party, like a small one, not like a big one or anything like that. I think maybe just his parents and my mom and my brothers, just the the closer family. Um, I don't really want anything big for that. But you guys will see that video. Um, it's not too long from now. Just wanted to update you guys before I start uploading all these random videos. And that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Leave me your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys soon.